create Azure containers, you can go back to either Azure search here, you can type as a container registries and you will be getting as a container registry. Also, you have the container uh, instances. So we are just trying to demonstrate here container registries. So that's one way you can do it. Or you can go to all resources and point to containers. So from the all services, you can directly create here you can see here different uh, seven different types of container specific components are there so out of that we are trying to work with the container registry so just click on add and go back to select the required subscription and give the proper resource group name so in my case i need to you know take it out uh, these things and simply give as the as your container registry demo as one of the resource group or use the existing resource group and similar uh, name I wanted to follow and if you see here registry names always ends with the dot as your CR dot IO so in my case um, I shouldn't have any space so I just have to give a unique uh, URL kind of thing because it's going to validate if you have the same uh, registry name ever in Azure CR.io so it's validated and I can choose here the required location so in my case I can go for West US so I'll just scroll down further to find more and select West US location and standard and basic and premium is there let's say if I choose as a basic I will not have any options to configure in my networking and if you just go to that documentation you will find out the pricing and more importance of the premium so premium will allow you for the Azure firewall and other settings you see here for the basic you don't have any private and public configuration including even the standard you don't have much whereas with the premium you have the options to choose um, even for the public or the any of the networking connectivities as well as the uh, configuration for the endpoint configurations can be done either public or private as well as the uh, Windows uh, Azure firewall specific configuration also can be done here with the private DNS integration and uh, that's where you're gonna mostly use the uh, premium uh, if I just click on that you know it's going to talk about the DNS but I'll just close that and come back here so I don't want to uh, go for the premium at this point of time uh, if I want I can you know choose here so it all depends on the requirements like say you want to access this for everywhere then you can choose as that and in my case what I'm trying to do is I will be going with the premium I'm okay with the pricing and the for encryption you can choose the encryption method let's say you want to you know, choose the enable option what would happen is you are getting that encryption manage the entire container with it, your own keys uh, those images will be stored because in the registry you will have the images or you can actually integrate this entire container registry with your Azure security vault or key vault so with the key vault you can integrate that so that it will be managed uh, from the key vault so you can do that so in our case we are choosing uh, as a disabled so I'm just you know going further with the tags which are normal and the review and create that would actually create for us the as your container so once a container uh, is created I should be able to reconfigure if I want like uh, key vault services or public or upgrade to basic to premium uh, or you can regenerate keys all that can be pulled out so this is where you can actually pull the access keys let's say this is the logon uh, server and also container uh, registry name is this this is a unique ID and uh, ending with that name with IO and if I choose as the enable here it's gonna actually create a username and two different passwords so that I can use here two different passwords which I'm gonna demonstrate in the next demo and also you have the identity protection um, where you can use this uh, method so that you can managed identity can be enabled so that you don't need to worry about the user IDs and passwords and uh, you can use this identity protection uh, from the direct Microsoft Azure mechanism to secure um, where the authentication can be 
pulled from either key vault without storing any of the access codes uh, from here so once you put that um, access codes in the identity enable services at the azure will pull that required permissions automatically and you can configure from the amp the RBAC services so that it would becomes easy for you and uh, next one would be the uh, you can also even system and uh, user based identity can be done you can encrypt as we talked um, you can go for the encrypt mechanism you can use the identity we talked about system and user based and from the networking you have the options for the choosing here either select a different network or private only endpoints and you have different options here including the azure firewall or services also can be done to secure your entire container registry and uh, now if i just want to create from azure cli all i have to do is just the i'm trying to create from the cli just click on cli i don't have any uh, cli specific storages uh, just to so i'll just choose the subscription that would create a backend and then here i can create the command lines like az azure acr to create that's a azure container registry acr stands create under resource group called container registry demo this is the uh, container if you see here um, the registry services is going to create under this resource group which we have already here so i have given here the existing resource group otherwise you have to create and that resource group and next one would be the name name of my container services so this is the container service and sku as you know standard basic premium you have so earlier we created with the premium now i'm going to create with the basic so i'll simply hit enter that would actually create for me a container uh, container registry and uh, with the tile as the basic so that created here successfully so I'm gonna choose this um, commands if I just you know refresh here I should be able to get it if I just go back to Azure container registry services so container registries let me go back here and I can type maybe that will be quick Azure container registry services and I can simply refresh and go down so that I should be able to see the one which we have just created so we just try to create it this one so the same name it is coming up that's good so that concludes how to create uh, and the basic steps and basic settings that are involved within azure container registry so in the next demo we will be trying to uh, work with existing uh, container registry and we try to pull out from docker repository a like a hello wall kind of uh, image settings and we pull it and then we push and we run that uh, instance registry so that's what we are trying to do and we will also discuss there how to secure with the firewall as well as the resource logs options that you have within the container registries i hope this uh, lecture is useful for you we'll catch you in the next lecture